Hey guys, can y'all hear me? I gotta get my microphone adjusted. All right, you hear me good, guys? All right, so welcome back to my Tube U channel. Oh, reverse that, YouTube channel. Gulf Coast Diesels, guys, with the Z at the end, because, you know, why not? All right, guys, but right here, this is a 1949 Studebaker. Y'all ever heard of Studebaker? Company's been de defunct since 1967. 1967. Not too, not really that long ago, and uh, a big perspective. But for a car coming, let me just give you some a nice little tidbit that I came up with. I actually did some research. Did you know Hyundai? Now correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But actually, Hyundai, the nice Korean car company, they actually came out in in '67. So that's pretty interesting tidbit that this company was defunct the same year that Hyundai came out, just to show you age differentiations. All right, guys, but let's cut to the video, a little bit about the truck. All right, so the truck right here, it's a 49 Studebaker cab, all right? Sitting on a Dodge 3500 uh, 1994 frame. It's also got the 12 valve Cummins that came off the Dodge in the engine bay, all right? <laughs> So let's let's take a little look around the truck, guys. Let's get it going on like Donkey Kong, guys. Come on now. All right, guys. First off, on this truck right here, we don't have the old school bench seats anymore, no sir. The uh, guy who built it or whoever was nice enough to um, install some nice modern day seating. Um, it's got like a, you know. It's got leather on the sides and then like an insert on the middle, whatever you want to call it, you know, you get what I'm saying. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice, guys. Uh, little step up on here because originally the seat would sit on this uh, pan deal right here, you know, whatever the floor kind of comes up a little bit, but this is uh, built up. Anyways, guys, so we go on in here. And we see we got the radio. This is all custom built. Custom built, guys. <laughs> so a little box here. It's got the radio. Because you can't have the radio in there. You're going to botch up the um, integrity of the dashboard, you know. Have it all botched up looking. Heard some people put it in the glove compartment. I guess that's a good idea. Uh, but, you know, it's good right there. You got controls on the steering wheel Ooh, right here. Yeah, so it does have the Dodge uh, steering column. So it's got tilt and uh, all the modern amenities. And then uh does have AC. One of these knobs, forget which one. Uh, AC and heat and defrost. And then you got the um, cup holders right here, guys. You got the, um, the five-speed. I never do, I, this is a weird deal right here. The schematic on this stick shift, it goes L, which is actually first gear, then to first, which is second gear, and then the second, which is actually third, and then to, uh, yeah, I guess D, which is actually, stands for drive, I think. Anyways, it's weird. Uh, but that's how these older trucks are, but actually, you know, that came off the 94, so it's it's older, but, you know, not as old as a 49, excuse me. Uh, so, cool thing about this truck, you got customized gauges here. You got 49 and the gauge uh, deal. Then you got this gauge with four gauges. And so you got the, um, damn, I can't see. Fuel, uh, fuel the, um oil pressure and um water temperature and uh, a volts voltage meter uh, voltage whatever you know what i mean guys uh then you got the rpms and uh so this part you know of course it's not original <clears throat> they had uh put slide this in i guess modify a little bit 
And I do believe that they had to drill this out. Not 100% certain on that. But I think they might have had to drill that gauge. This is a boost gauge up here. <clears throat> uh, so let's... Uh, anything else in here, guys? Oh, yeah. You got a headliner. Got some nice hand grips. Uh, this thing's coming off. But overall... Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Harley Davidson. Uh, yeah, I guess the guy liked Harley Davidson. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So, uh, AC's ice cold. So, that's good. It's got a gear vendor. Still trying to figure out how to work that thing. The uh, controls for it are in, in here. And then the actual um, operating system, whatever you want to call it is connected to the uh, transmission. All right, am I getting this all right? I don't know. Might be botching it up, guys. It's got some nice toolbox handles. And the doors do open suicide, so all of this was modified. I had to get this cut out. You know, whoever did it cut this out. And uh, of course, this is modified. And I'm assuming this is, you know, modified too, because if the doors originally came from this swing from this way, then it, they're going to have to f do some body work here because the hinges, shoot, because the hinges, you know, came from this side. So there was some body work done some at some point, I'm assuming. And also this had to be bored out, I'm assuming too. And this had to be custom made, this hinge. Also has power windows. Pretty neat. Um, so this is also... If you have to jump the uh, truck. Because uh, the batteries are actually under the flat bed. Because there was no room in the engine bay. To uh, put the uh, batteries. So actually the uh, batteries... So actually the bed itself is a dump bed. So I'll go ahead and raise it up, guys. Just a minute. Yeah, so as you can see right there, guys, <clears throat> batteries are right there. Only problem is if you get if the batteries go down, you're stuck and you got all your your stuff under here. Um, but that is a good 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 deal why they put the uh, the uh, jump terminals or whatever there in the in the cab of the truck, guys. Come on, I'm I'm, I'm talking too slow. I gotta keep your attention, guys. Goes down nice and smooth smoothly. Nice and smoothly. Got to get some new new tires on here because these things look like donuts. When you put them up on the wheel wells. Got the nice side exhaust here. Puff some smoke. A lot of smoke coming out this 12 valve. All the frame is nicely done. I mean, nicely preserved, I should say. Uh, this right here is, uh, uh, if you put the bed up all the way or whatever, it's a safety stick, so you just put it in a hole that's there, and it keeps it, the bed, uh, standing up, so you don't have to rely on the hydraulics. Um, this is a custom bumper here, winch access here, um, yeah, anyways, guys. Just checking out the roof right here, guys. Everything's in nice working order. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, stay tuned for more, guys. Appreciate it.